Hey guys, good morning. Um, I've been looking at uh, the structures. I mean, I guess I guess they present that these structures were built by some primitive um, civilization underneath the earth. And um, I, I disagree. I, I believe this used to be, you know, at this level. And something happened. I, I don't know. I don't know what, you guys. I don't know. Is it a mud flood? Is it a flood flood? Is it floods and fires? What happened to the trees? I mean, there's a lot. Um, there's this missing book of the Bible that's not in the Bible called Enoch. E-N-O-C-H. That talks about giving uh, response, you know, God, I guess, giving responsibility of these giant trees to man. And then man uh, did something to the trees, right? And that's, why is that, why is Enoch not in the Bible? Um, why is the Bible talking about fishing humans? Um, you know, this is just, I, I, I just, I, I don't know. There's so much to learn about this. But so they present this as some ancient ruin when it's really just, I mean, this is a building with modern technology. I mean, if you really look at it, it this isn't, it's not that old, um, but it, it has been buried and it goes down and down. It's very deep, right? And in all the major cities, you can see uh, where the windows you know, they only go up, up part way. I'll show you. There's a bunch of excavated sites that you can see too on the internet. But this one, you can see, see how the windows, I mean, they're, this structure up here was built on top of something that went below. You know what I mean? And, and there's pictures of this on the internet. see these windows. All right. I think I just told you this, but my recorder wasn't on. These windows go below the ground surface. So I think we need to get into that Enoch book and read what it says just to see what, what happened. Um, because I think it tells a lot of things that uh, I mean, this is up here is street level, right? So what, what's all this? It, it, it goes, there's structure that goes be below and you can probably see it in any excavating sites and they always put up big barriers. You can't see in, but, um, this is across all the major cities in the world where, it goes below, I mean, this isn't in use. This is, this was buried. I'm sure you guys have seen these. Um, you know, but no, I don't know. I just don't have a way to tell you if they're real, but, um, some of them that I've seen, I mean, this one, it looks cut right here. So did they put something on it to make it appear longer? But then I've seen some, uh, you know, where the, the head looks elongated that, you know, I, I just can't take all of the images as true um, because I, I don't know. I mean, they fake so much. I, it's just hard to know, but I haven't seen these before.
So I just wanted to show them to you. Um, So, I mean, this is kind of more of our head shape now, right? But what it, I, I mean, this is like a Mm, they're claiming this is an alien. I don't think it's an alien. I think it's just a different type of, you know, humanoid. But if that humanoid existed, I, I would think that it would be in the artwork somewhere. I don't know what this is. It's interesting, too, the way, you know, modern women, you know, they always would pile their head up with hair way up high, make big kind of bouffants. Um. What's weird, too, is why would you take something like this and have this inscribed on it? I mean, that just, that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I feel like they're always telling us stuff <laughs> in the media, too. You know, Saturday Night Live tells us a lot of information. Mm, they're saying this is an alien. I don't think so. I think it's just a humanoid. Alien skulls have more cranial volume than human skulls. Head binding slightly changes the shape of the skull, but cannot... Um, so maybe they're claiming it was due to head binding, but it, it, I mean, they're pretty large. I, I don't know if they're real, you guys. I, I don't know enough about it. It looks pretty um, interesting to me, though.
this. Uh, the mysterious phenomena of elongated skulls. to be an elongated skull, so it's interesting too. Um, they're showing how far it goes back and then it's covered with this. Okay, I'm done with that.